Hi, today we are talking about the refs and the dog in ReactJS. Imagine you are a referee in a football game. To enforce the rules, you need to be able to distinguish the players on the field. In React, refs are like player numbers. They allow you to identify and manipulate specific elements in your application's DOM so that you can modify their behavior or properties when needed. In a similar way, a referee might use a player's number when giving them a yellow or red card. This way, a referee can make sure that the correct player is being penalized. Similarly, you might use a ref to get the value of an input field or to focus on a particular element when a button is clicked, for example. Code with Sloba. Here in our component, we have a simple JSX code with a button. Now, let's say we want to add some interactivity to this button. Maybe we want to change its text or color once it's clicked. To do that, we'll need to get a reference to the button element in the DOM. We can do that using the ref. Import use ref hook from React on the top. Create a new ref called button ref using the use ref hook. This ref will be used to reference the button element in the DOM. Now define a new function called handle click. This function will be called when the button is clicked. It uses the current property of the button ref object to get a reference to the actual button element in the DOM. Then we modify inner text and set it to clicked. Copy this line and use the style property to change its background color to green. Next to our button, let's attach button ref using the ref attribute. Let's also attach handle click function to the on click attribute so that it will be called when the button is clicked. It's simple as that and now if we open our browser and click on the button, we can see that our button is changing its appearance. It's green and the text has been changed. So that's how ref works in React. It's a way to get a reference to a specific element in the DOM so that we can manipulate it with JavaScript. Using refs with parent or child component is a little bit different than using them within the same component. Let me show you an example. Let's first create a dummy child component, which we can use in our application and demonstrate communication with refs. Create a new file called child.js. First, at the beginning of our file, import react and the forward ref function. Also, use imperative handle hook and use state hook from react module. This child component is a little bit different than usual. We're using forward ref function to create a component that can accept a ref. So define a new functional component called child using the forward ref function. This function takes two arguments, props and ref. The ref argument is used to create a ref that can be passed to the parent component to access the child component's methods. Now let's use a useState hook to create new state variable called text and a function setter called setText to update this variable. The initial value of text is set to original text. Now we need to use use imperative handle hook to expose the change text function as a method of child component that can be accessed by the parent component through ref. In the use imperative handle function, we're defining an object with a change text method. This method will be called by the parent component to change the text of the child component. The change text method takes a new text parameter and sets the value of text to it. This is the value that is going to be passed from the parent component. Inside of return, place a paragraph element inside it. The paragraph element displays the current value of the text. And at the end, export default child 
this line exports the child component as the default export of the module. Now let's update our app component. First, let's just import the child component from child module, the one that we just created. Next, let's create a new ref using use ref hook and assign it to the child ref constant. This ref will be used to access the methods of the child component. Now let's modify handle click function. It will use child ref to call the change text method on the child component with the argument of new text. This is a custom method name which we defined in the child component. You can name it however you want to call it, but this is how we execute this method in our child component. And let's wrap the button in a new element as we are gonna include child component as well. Let's update the button. Remove the refs and change the text. When clicked, it will call the change text method on the child component to change the text displayed in the child component. And now finally, let's create a new instance of the child component and assign the child ref to it. This allows the parent component to access the child component's methods through ref. So to recap, we're using a ref in the parent component to get a reference to the child component. We're passing this ref to the child component using the ref property. Inside the child component, we're using forward ref function to create a component that can accept a ref. We're also using use imperative handle hook to create an interface for the parent component to use. And now we can open our browser and see how text of our child component is being changed. In this tutorial, we learned about using refs in React to access and manipulate the DOM. We saw how to create a ref using the use ref hook and how to use it to reference to a DOM element in our component. Refs are a powerful tool that can be used to interact with the DOM and manage state in your React components. While it's important to use refs sparingly, in cases where other approaches are not sufficient, they can provide a clean and efficient solution to certain problems. Well, that's all for this React video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more React tutorials, click here.